the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 238, 2 Chronicles 23-25, Jehoiada the Brave Priest By reading Prince Joash, who survived from the massacre of Athaliah, Priest Jehoiada united the will of the people and carried out the righteous transfer of political power and religious reformation. First point. Priest Jehoiada's reformation in the Book of Kings focuses on the monarchy, and Chronicles focuses on the role of the Levites. Athaliah, the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel, ruled South Judah for six years. But with the revolution led by the priest Jehoiada, the monarchy was given back to the household of David. The Book of Kings records the revolution group to have been Jehoiada and the officials, but Chronicles records it to have been priest Jehoiada, five captains of a hundred, the Levites, and also the leaders of South Judah. These people ensured that the monarchy was passed back to the household of David. Jehoiada pronounced the plan to the people of how they were going to carry out the revolution. The Levites played a crucial role. Priest Jehoiada also involved the captains of a hundred, as well as the people to join the revolution. After the revolution, Joash became the next king. Joash was to be anointed as a king and have the laws of God with him at all times. When Joash became king, Athaliah, who reigned for six years, saw her end. During the whole revolution, the priest Jehoiada kept all of God's laws. The revolution succeeded, and the seven-year-old Joash was made king of South Judah. Priest Jehoiada prepared for the next reformation. The first was to renew their covenant with God. This involved South Judah repenting and turning to a kingdom of prestige. The second was to get rid of the idols. The third was to restore the Jerusalem temple and to look after it. The fourth was to find peace. Second point, the eighth king of South Judah, Joash, started his religious reformation by restoring the temple. During the time priest Jehoiada was leaving, Joash did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. Joash received help from Jehoiada to restore the Jerusalem temple. Joash ordered the priests and the Levites to restore the temple. But when the Levites did not make much progress in this, Joash asked Jehoiada why this was. This was because Athaliah's sons were serving the Baals and other idols. Because of this, Joash collected more taxes in order to progress with the temple restoration. The restoration of the temple grew into a national project, with the people of South Judah getting involved. As such, Joash did well in the early days. Third point. After the death of priest Jehoiada, Joash no longer listened to the prophet. Priest Jehoiada, who supervised Joash well, died at the age of 130. Jehoiada was an incredibly important figure who managed to sustain the monarchy of David despite hardship. With the death of Jehoiada, Joash also went into the next half of his reign. Unfortunately, this was where he started to fall. Joash started to worship idols and not listen to God's words. He went as far as to stone God's prophet to death. God judged Joash through Aram. Aram attacked and Joash was killed by his own servants. 
Joash became recorded as the first king of South Judah to die in the hands of his own servants. Joash was given a funeral within the walls of David, but he was not buried with his ancestors. Fourth point, the ninth king of South Judah, Amaziah, executed the servants who killed his father, but he did not kill their children. When Joash died, his son Amaziah took over as the ninth king of South Judah. Amaziah did what was right in the eyes of God during the early years of his life, but he did not put his whole heart into it. When his position as a king became stable, he killed the servants who killed his father. However, he did not kill their children. Some time later, Amaziah faced war with Edom, and so he prepared 300,000 soldiers, as well as recruiting 100,000 soldiers from North Israel. But just before the war, God sent a prophet to Amaziah. The reason God did not permit South Judah to go with North Israel was because God was no longer with North Israel. God also wanted the people to rely on him only. Amaziah listened to God, who spoke through his prophet and sent the soldiers of North Israel back. But during the time South Judah was at war with Edom, the soldiers who were on their way back to North Israel went to raid and attack South Judah. During this time, Amaziah brought back great victory against Edom. Fifth point, Amaziah, who won the war against Edom through God's help, grew arrogant and so started war with North Israel. Amaziah won against Edom, but he most foolishly brought back the idol of Edom and started to worship it. Because of this, God sent his prophet to Amaziah. But this time, he did not listen to the warning of the prophet. Consequently, Amaziah was to be punished by God, which he received during the war with North Israel. Amaziah declared war on North Israel because of what they did in South Judah. When the king of North Israel heard this, he mocked Amaziah. This led to war and South Judah lost. This result was God's plan. Amaziah and the people of South Judah were taken as captives to Samaria. Because of this outcome, and Amaziah faced death by the people of South Judah. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer and you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.